Link 2012. Oh, it's working. Hello, welcome back everybody to another episode of Descent Developer Commentary. Hopefully we'll do some commentary today. We'll see. Next area we're going on to is... Uh, which I call it? <laughs> uh, glitched. So that's gonna be fun. We're gonna get our next emerald block today, which is exciting. I mean, that's assuming I finish this area today, which is a big assumption. Um, I guess we have to put everything away. After all of that, I wish I had a junk. I guess we can consider these junk chests. So we're not gonna use a lot of this. Yes, thank you, computer. Alright. We do have a few more. Oh, these were ones that I already had, I think. Lots and lots of holy water, which is... I'm sorry, not holy water. Um, mermaid tears, which I'm glad for. Because those things are pretty good. Frankenstein's head. Don't need that. We are going to need all these... Oh, this is going to go into keepsakes. Okay. Armor-wise. So this is our wither fighting armor. Very, very powerful stuff. And here we have our normal armor. I'll probably need to repair this chest plate again soon. Actually, we might as well repair it right now. Crossbow... That's a super duper awesome bow. Should I put it in special items is the question. And why not? Yeah, these things are pretty cool. Oh wait, what are the, what were those boots? Not that I'm gonna use them, but oh yeah, speedrunner's boots. Our angelic feet here have 20% speed, so. You can't really beat that. Okay. Too much steak. I think we're going to be using our bow a lot in this area, so... I'm going to have to... Repair it. So i got to repair my chest plate, got to repair my bow. And of course we got to finish putting stuff away. Do we have anything in here? Just heads, okay. We'll put these folks in here. Oh yeah, thanks to the uh, the helmet. This thing's going crazy. That's pretty funny. I think that makes it good for us. I think we're good. Got our ender pearls. We need more light, of course. We do need to repair these things. Well, let's see if we have a normal diamond chest plate in here. No, we. I'm not sure we do. Oh, yep, we do. A bunch. And a bow. Oh, it's always a pain to make bows. So we're going to need string and sticks. Plenty of string, plenty of sticks. I believe this is how we make a bow. Nope, it's the other way around. I should know this. <laughs> Uh, let's get grab four, because we're gonna need more later on, so we might as well make a bunch. Alrighty, so next matter of business repair. Oh, I can't repair this anymore. This is out. So I'm going to need to make a new bow soon. I wonder if there's anything here. I guess we have this one. Speech, which is power 8. The reason I like the comebacks bow is because it has a lot of punch. I'm not sure we need a lot of punch in this area. Oh, we're going to get harpoon guns. So we're not even going to... We shouldn't even worry about that. Yeah, there's a new type of bow that we get in this area. Alright, and we're going to need some more light. 
go ahead and grab three, because this area is huge. It's going to take us a long time. All right. Let's grab this and take put some more heads out. Come on. Oh, wait a second. Nuts! It's going to do that. Yes, we need to take our helmet off, actually. That's pretty funny. Alright. Ooh, we're running out of space in here, too. That's nice. I, I gotta make a new monument for this. Alright. Next area. Glitched. Woo! Moving on. I'm really excited. This was a really fun area to make. Ah, well, actually, it was a tedious area to make. Uh, I like doing the, the background for it, which I'll show you guys here in a second. I also was really create. I, I really like this, um, this little area right here. With all the little random blocks and whatnot with the ocean temple theme. And over here, we have an epilepsy. So if you suffer from epilepsy, pull the switch down. It disables the strobe light effect. So I'm not going to... I'm going to play with that on. So if you guys happen to have epilepsy, no, beware. <laughs> I mean, there's been some other parts in this series so far where uh, it's been... It probably wouldn't be the best if you had epilepsy. But All right, the long way down. This place is flooded. And the way in is long. Make sure to grab some extra boats just in case. Bonus, kill the targets along the way to earn a reward. If you experience lag, turn the resonances down. Anything less than eight should work well. Finally, make sure to exit the boat before you hit the ground. You won't take as much damage. We're going to keep one of those. Glitched. Crypt Creeper. Crypt Keeper. All right. Oh, man. So Crypt Keeper was one of the original developers in oh because of my helmet okay i need to remove my helmet for this he's one of the original developers uh, for the hypixel network he wasn't really known for a long time he was always in the original lo uh, lobby with all the do you know there was that one room with all the developer heads we'll see it in future areas Oh man, I'm not I'm not able to shoot. I guess we won't get it. That's okay. We can always make ourselves a one of those bows. Um But he became much more popular in a, a few years later. And he was doing a lot of funny stuff. It was really neat. Um I was a big fan. And he would always joke around about bugs. Uh he would he was also mostly because he was one of the people that was working closely with all with fixing all the bugs who was the main bug squasher and so this area glitched is sort of a tribute to that this, oh we didn't get as many strength bugs as we should okay that's okay um with all of the this is very this is glitch themed so <laughs> all those different bugs okay come on come on all right Sadly, the boat's not working properly thanks to our angelic feet and our pulsion helmet, so we're just going to have to climb up ourselves. I'm pretty sure there's nothing over here. Um, this area is... What is it? Um, I forget what it's called. <laughs> oh, boy. All I know is this, a, this, is a, this is a really big map. I really like this map because it was glitched several times on the Hypixel network. And oh, we're gonna need, we do need to go up there for some stuff. But let's just check out the rest of the ship for now. And the way it was glitched was that it was survival mode before the game started, the Blitz game. So you could go around breaking all the blocks and collecting resources and doing everything. Which is really, really neat. Oh, sweet. We have a portable, we have some portable decks here. Which is pretty neat. So we can take off wherever we need to. Let's go ahead and take a few of those. And we built another portal in the end. 
It was really, really hard to do because it involved getting water buckets and lava buckets and putting them together. There were very few, there were few diamonds and the players that mined them logged off pretty quickly, sadly. And I'll show you guys where the diamonds are here in a minute. That was a really, really cool experience. So we have this, which goes back to piercing the darkness. So this is a quick, faster teleporter for players. Um, oops. Come on. We just need to walk onto here. It's not working. That's very strange. Why isn't this working properly? This should teleport us back over there. Oh well, we'll investigate later on. There are several teleporters in here that help you get around faster and easier. Mm, that's one of them. Plag. Up to this moment, I have made some unfortunate development decisions, causing this area to lag significantly from now. For now, I recommend that you set your render distance short and dedicate more RAM to Minecraft if you can. It helps. There is a mini boss in the volcano. If you activate him, it causes additional lag, so try to beat him as quickly as possible. If you die during the boss, his health will reset. I recommend bringing several sets of armor. Oh, yeah, that guy's really annoying. Finally, this area is fundamental in the understanding of his divinity. I suggest that you speed I suggest that you speed through as a regular player, but if you are strong if you are strong in mind, it would be wise to take the extra time to observe your surroundings. Until then, good luck and don't forget to have fun. Wonderful. Well, I do believe that you can come down right here. This is all on the original map too. You get down this far, but this was it, I think. Um and then you could, there was a room back here that I found, but I couldn't ever, you couldn't access it in the actual Blitz game. So I decided to make it accessible so you can get through right here. I'm not sure if you can go any farther. There might be another room somewhere around here. Uh, Captain Transcendent says, Ahoy, matey! Fancy seeing the likes of you here. Not so many sailors dropping by nowadays. Arg, smart lads too. These seas are said to be cursed by his divinity himself. Baron as well. The only goods we have here are the ones brought in. All of it's a blunder, honestly. Not even sure how I got here. Alas, may the luck of the seven seas be with you, my lad. You got... What was it? You got things going for you. It's just something about you. So this guy gives you... Oh! Stop it! This guy gives you a frame fragment, fragment, which causes. Okay, we need to take off our helmet. Causes entities within 50 blocks to slow their AI by 33% for the next 30 seconds. Oh, so that's when you drop it. This is pretty valuable for later on. We got a basic harpoon gun. Consumes arrows, chance to reel in hooked mobs. This one's really neat. Then we can get an advanced harpoon gun, which gives you speed and knockback resistance. And then we get an enhanced harpoon gun with power and negative punch, because of course the harpoon gun reels in enemies. We get charisma of levitation, which disables glitches from immobilizing the group. Grants high jump boost when held. This one is really, really neat. And... We're probably going to keep one on hand at all times. Uh -huh. And of course, we get three of them right here. The question is, of course, what slot to put it in. I think I'm going to put on eight. We really don't need a water bucket anymore uh, because we, ha we have both the demon scale and, of course, the angelic uh -huh. feet. But yeah, I can't remember if you can get any further down or around. I'm pretty sure this is the limit, though. If we mine out this way, we'll just mine out the ship. Pretty sure. Yeah. Oh well. What was the shot? Yeah. Okay. Let's get back up. Although, what about this way? I just have to check everything. I can't remember. I wish I had an axe with me. But nope. And of course, the issue is this teleporter over here, which should be operating properly. Alright, I'm gonna go down here to see what's up. Oh, yeah, don't. This is, uh, 
for when you teleport. How do I put it? Uh, there's a, there's a teleporter you can unlock by going down there, which we're not going to worry about. Iron clear. Okay, where is? Oh, is it disabled for some reason? This is very strange. All right. All right. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm pretty sure that's a command. All right. It's very strange. Okay. Oh! Due to the nature of the repulsor, I'm pretty sure that this armor stand is supposed to be here. Okay. Um, yeah. Perfect. I think this will work now. So, we just can't use the repulsor. So, this is a really unforeseen thing that the repulsor repulses armor stands and whatnot. That's a very annoying glitch. Okay, so where is that located? Alright, so if we go down here, for instance, this is the issue. And I think this might be the teleporter. Two contested mines, yeah. So this is actually a secret right here that you would have noticed if you looked on the floor. It's a slightly different color. And we... Okay. Sorry about that, guys. We're not going to take whatever's in this chest, but I do want to go check it out. So we got some ender pearls and some purple mist. Ooh, a lot of stamina potions. I'm, I'm really tempted to get this, to take this stuff, but since we did technically not find it on our own, we can't. So I was wrong about that being the... Oh, wait, let's take it back off. I do want to go... No, did I repulse him again? No, I didn't. It's very strange. So if it... So it sets your descent score, and it teleports you. This is awful. Awful, awful, awful. Alright, we're gonna go up here. This bug is not supposed to happen. Alright. Let's get in here. Okay. So if we step on this, it unlocks this, which is nice. If we come up here, there's a secret. Maybe. It's a, a sign that says hi. Yeah, so... Always putting things at the top of waterfalls. <laughs> All right. Okay, so it worked. Okay, so it just won't take us back for some reason. That's very strange. Oh, well. Okay. We have one more thing to explore on this ship before moving on. And that is up here. Now the question is, can I get this shot right? Nope. At least we fall a little bit slower. Oh, what on earth? That was confusing. All right, now we're up here, which is good. Let's get a bit higher.
right, number one, chest number one. So we get a bunch of errors and some enchanting bottles. One paper that's going crazy and another that's going crazy. They probably say something. If you look at the NBTs. I want to get to the top here. Because I do believe we're not done. If only I had the charisma of levitation. But we don't have anywhere near enough of those uh, things. Let's get up here. Nice. All right. This is strange. I thought there was another. There is another chest up here for sure. The question is, why am I not seeing it? Oops. And yeah, there goes a lot of our ender pearls. <laughs> All right, I don't see it. I guess we can get over here. See if there's anything. Doubt it. Yeah, once we get that charisma, it'll be easier for us to find whatever is up here. I will use this ender chest though, because the teleporter's not working properly. Very good. I think... Oh, it's, oh, that's just way out. Let's go ahead. So you have some unique concepts in this area. One of them is these boys, which will light up when you get close enough to them. And they spawn these sea urchins. No, pufferfish, sorry. They're not solutions. What do I think? What am I thinking? And they are annoying. <laughs> Very annoying. Now, but we do have an urchin corpse. It gives you protection 5, respiration 3, depth strider 2. So, really, really good. You don't need depth strider on your boots if you have those. We are going to take out the spawner. And, of course, each of these is a chest. They have some stuff in it. And the paper. We really don't need those papers because they're all going to be the same. Although I do, okay, so the interesting thing in this area is that I do arrange the chests in to, to say something. Oh, there's a pirate skull right here. As for the, that's why I have the iron clearer in there. Um, so they, each chest has a meaningful formation. Even though we're not going to look at all of them completely. There is custom mob spawning in this area, so... You saw that creeper right there? That was a natural spawn, but he had those custom effects. He, he's, he's an actual custom mob. Oh boy. No, 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 no. So I can't jump right now. The glitches make it so you can't jump. Oh, nuts. Yeah, we really need strength for this. Oh, these guys won't attack you unless you attack them. That's interesting. Yeah, they'll they'll make your screen flash if you get by them. They have a XP orb on top of them, meaning that you should go down to get it once you kill them. It's tempting to to just jump onto them and get the XP orb, but you get hurt. So, <laughs> all right, lots and lots of XP here. Big help. All right. Only I had strength. I believe later on you unlock unlimited strength. Oh boy. Yeah, those are the imploding creepers. I think they have very little health, but they will do that. And these are confusion. Confusions, when they shoot you, they make your. Oh, oh boy. They make your mouse go every which way. So. 
Lots of scary mobs in this area. Lots of really cool items, too. Yeah, confusion will go upside down. <laughs> oh, they're pretty funny. Oh, one of them shot at me. Alright. I don't know how we're going to deal with all this. Because uh, we only have one stamina potion right now. And I'm not sure that there's so many. I can't remember if chests here have stuff like that in them. Or if they just have the error in the XP. Let's get up here. We're just lighting it up right now. We're going to have to go back through, obviously. Oh, boy. Nope, nope. This is why confusions are bad. <laughs> They will make you jump off a cliff. And as you can see, breaking the breaking the uh, glass takes extra time, so that's the little spawner thing, making it more difficult for players. If the urchins come on land, they do take damage. So that's where, where the repulsor is really helpful in this area, is that you can repulse them up onto the land, and then they'll take damage. Oh, no, not glitches. All right, just line it all up. And, of course, activating the spawners, because these guys have a short spawn time initially, but longer later on. I don't think there's anything down here. Filling in a lot of this was a pain, because the version of this map had entire chunks where the sand was of a, of a data value that didn't exist so you couldn't actually uh use it it didn't actually exist <laughs> yeah basically that <laughs> um which made it difficult for me because i had to go in an mc edit before anything else and replace all of the different blocks that didn't exist i think it was sand and stone sand and stone had problems 